Good morning, Rina here. Namaste. So, um, <sighs> nice to be here. Uh, I have my hot water and um, my bed's made. If you're wondering why I'm referring to that, <clears throat> you can look at the first few videos. Um, just the concept of when things get shuffled around, tumultuous, um, we start by simply observing and then creating little elements of ground that help us to feel all right, um, predictability, and feel good. So hot water, hot beverage in the morning, and cleaning up the bed, um, creating a clean space is a nice way to begin to craft that practice, and it's part of the practice as well of yoga. Um, so I also wanted to acknowledge that if you've been practicing over time, or maybe not, that's also all right, just a chance to reflect back and we see that this started rather organically, right? Um, and now there's this accrual that had we tried to do all of these practices together at once, now what, like 20, 25 different practices, um, we couldn't. We would spend the entire day. It's different concepts. It might not have felt right. And so it's simply little by little, we observe, we practice, we transform, right? We see these things change over time. And just considering that if you've been practicing, the positivity in having sat and opened the day and welcomed it each day has is, is going somewhere, whether or not in the moment we're aware of it, positively it's going somewhere. It's, it's shaping things for the better. Um, so with that, I wanted to re-acknowledge um, the base of yoga is really relatively simple. Um, but we have a lot of complex ways and beautiful ways that we can practice it. But at its base, really, we see a lot of this, which is also universal in life. The scientists have talked about it. Philosophers have pondered it, um, which is observation, transformation, maintenance, rest. And we see these even in the way that our cells replicate, right, and die and regenerate. And we see observation, transformation, maintenance, rest. And maybe it's not always in that order, but if we were to look at anything, and if you're a teacher in a school, right, it might be a really cool concept, even in thinking of characters in a story or the way that we generate an essay. Like, I'm, I was a pre-K to 12 and still am teacher, so I write curriculum, and it's something I'm always thinking about, um, that it's not like forced interdisciplinary connections. There are these lovely roots that we can make um, connections to everything, even as adults, in anything. And um, so what we've been doing is we've been observing the breath, um, we've been transforming the breath, and I wanted to focus on that concept of positive transformation. And I was really thinking about it this morning because as I was waking up, you know, I was, ah, I was like giving myself a sigh. And I think many of us across cultures can relate to that concept of, ha, ah, or ah, right? And, ah, hmm. And these vibrations that don't necessarily have assigned meaning, phonemes and graphemes, you know, like they're nothing related to um, written uh, text. It's, it's actually just something organic, vibrationally, that comes out of us. And sometimes these are sighs that are designed to release ah, energy. And sometimes mm, they are designed to enjoy and to embrace something. And how each of these things, as you are doing this, maybe it can illuminate, oh, through the day when you hear yourself creating a sound, or, uh, <laughs> it, it can actually be a yogic awareness, a conscious, uh, just a wake up moment of, wow, that's, that's interesting that that's, that sound and the tone and the body language all kind of line up to do something to help <laughs> me, ideally. Um, and... We don't necessarily need to separate that from the concept of mantra practice or even the sound of om. And if you're interested in the sound of om, which I'll offer, but you don't, you don't have to practice it if you don't want to. Sometimes it gets glamorized um, and sometimes it gets um, kind of commercialized. I, I saw it in a fast food commercial and I uh, don't know, I have to <laughs> sit with that one a little bit <laughs> uh, where people were, it was for an advertisement and om is really powerful. Um, some even say the vibration, um, 
relates to the way the earth is turning. It's, it's the vibration from space. I can't vet that for sure. I'll have to ask NASA about it, but uh, that's, that's what I hear. And it's a kind of beautiful concept even to imagine that, mm, that we're part of that earth turning. And today what I thought we could do is um, do a little bit of release practice. So first we can observe ah, what naturally comes out. <clears throat> and then we can start to positively transform using that practice really simply by, um, by standing, if you like. You can also do this seated in a chair. So I have a couple of chair practices where these same lifts and forward folds can be done in a chair. And so you can apply this practice in any of those as well. Um, so otherwise... Let us come to stand. Ah, wow, yeah, I can feel it in my system. <laughs> and even this concept of, um, or this practice, right, of, of setting up, I see wrinkles, I'm just going to smooth them out. I have sanitized this mat already. I clean my mat daily. If you have tea tree oil and a little water, it's a good thing if you use a mat. Otherwise, you don't need a mat at all. And you can ground down through the feet and let me readjust this a little bit so you can see. It's just standing anywhere comfortably and lifting at the toes, grounding them down. And we'll just do, we're just going to do some sun breaths, which is a lifting of the arms. And we're going to release air on the way out. So first just see what comes out for you as you breathe out. Um, and if you want, you can use a chair in front of you or an ottoman or a table. I'll use this guy since it happens to be here. So maybe place this way. And you can always rest the hands here in a forward fold if you choose not to fold all the way. So ground down, lifting the arms, breathe in wide, widen the palms, lift. Breathe out of the mouth and just see what happens. Ground through feet, inhale, half lift. Exhale, breathe it out. Root to lift, inhale, take in the breath. Exhale, palms to your heart. So simply taking a moment, observing how that was. Are you holding back? Are you whispering a, so that people don't hear you? Or is it because it's what you need? And see if you can do that without judgment of yourself, right? It depends on the context we're in. So the fact that you're even here practicing watching is something to be thankful to yourself for. So that concept of non-judgment in and of itself is a practice. Ground down through the feet. This time we're going to stick out the tongue and really send the breath directionally and that vibration out of the mouth. You don't have to stick out the tongue. You can just open the mouth wider as you breathe out and let that breath release. Let the vibration ring through the system almost like you're letting it go. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, relax, open the mouth, the tongue, stick out the tongue, exhale. Ah. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, mouth open or tongue sticking out, breathe out. Ah. Breathe in, ground through feet, lift to stand. Exhale, stick out tongue or just open the mouth. Ah. Notice how you feel. So if anybody hears this, they can offer you a little bit of extra love. <laughs> um, they can learn to love your new normal <laughs> if they're not used to it. We're going to continue. This time you can close the mouth. You can feel the vibration of a hum sound. Mm, a gentle smile on the face also can be practiced here so that it's a, a soft transformation toward positive direction. And this is where we go from observation, now using this practice of vibration, to create a positive transformation in your being. And there is science to show, but you might even feel it through the system. When you start to gently lift the corners of the lips as you do this and hum, there's something almost musical to it um, that we can find maybe perhaps that 
brings us joy, um, and it can also just start to change the way that you feel in the face, especially in the morning. Breathe in through the nose, lift the arms, ground through the feet. Exhale, hum, mouth closed, smile, mm, fold. Mm. Breathe in, half leg. Breathe out, hum. Mm. Breathe in, lift to stand all the way. Breathe out, hum. Mm. Positive energy, positive directing of energy. And um, what you can feel in this space, right, is to let that vibration settle. Like when you ring a bell, you notice the vibration continues. So letting those vibrations soften. You can also do this with practices of saying words that mean something to you, like thank you, or if you want to say something positive to the world. Um, as we're moving, this is designed for positive transformation. So if there's something in your system, you can do these practices, lifting and exhaling, releasing, saying thank you, for example, or I will, or yes, it's happening. Whatever arrives for you that feels like it's part of your intention or need for the day, you can offer yourself as well. If you'd like, you can also join me in an OM, or if you, you can just listen, or this can be your practice thanking yourself. Otherwise, understanding that concept of OM is comprised of base components, and they say that A, U, M, space, represents similarly observation, transformation, maintenance, rest. And I hope that this can help inform, guide your day, help you to feel better. So if you'd like to practice, let, the, let go of the breath entirely. Breathe in all the way. Soften the shoulders wherever you are. And on the out breath, you can say Om. can blink the eyes open, enjoying that silence of the space as it re-enters you into perhaps something new to observe and transform. Have a good rest of the day, and until tomorrow, thanks for practicing with me.